name is Ricardo. I work as a data engineer at Cumulus here in Brazil. And today I would like to talk a little bit about a very cool service in Azure, at least cool for me. Let me show you my screen. It's under Cognitive Services is the Face API. And what I like the most about this service is that if we look over here at the pricing tier, we can use it for free. Right now for this demonstration, I'm using the standard one, but we can use it for free and we can do until 20 calls per minute. So that's a lot of calls that we can do without any costs. And the project that I've been working on is to, is to do face video face recognition on live videos. So it's a very simple script. We can see over here we have the values to call the API, the, the credentials to my face API account. We have the three main steps of the code is to create the groups, create the person and train the group. So basically what do is this, it start the camera, then I'll transform each frame that I'm getting from a camera, I'm transforming into bytes. And then I'm sending this image with a post request to the Azure Face API. And then the response I'm transforming into this variable faces. And for each face that I get from the response, I can get a lot of values. I will also leave the link to the documentation so you can see which values you can receive. I'm using this one to draw the rectangle. And then I'll also use this person.candidates that I can get for the training that I'll do for the model. So basically I will create a group, then I'll assign persons to this group, and for each person I'll add pictures to train the model. So while I'll run the code on the live video, the model can identify which person is, is appearing on the screen, and then I'll train the model. And it's simple as this face client person group dot train. So now maybe we can show in live action how it's been done. So I'll copy the code. Now we'll open the editor, create a new file. You can save us each test. Yes. And now we can run the code. So first of all, it will ask me which is going to be the group name. So it's going to be family or familia. Now, which persons I will I would like to add to this group? In this case, I will add myself, Ricardo, and I will also add my wife, Rita. And that's all. So it's starting to create the persons. So a person for me is assigned me this ID. Now it's loading the pictures of myself. Now it's doing the same for my wife. And after it will start training. So the train is running. Now the train is succeeded. Now my camera will start. And you can see it over here. I'll show my screen. You can see the response of the API that a face is being identified in the frame and you can see a, rectang a rectangle is being drawn over my face and my name is assigned to this person. My wife is not with me right now but I can show a picture of us and you can see over here that is assigning the correct name for each person. So for her is assigning Rita and for myself is assigning Ricardo. So with this, we can see it's a very simple code. I will stop the calls. And we can use this for a lot of things. And I like, I like a lot to work with this API. It's very simple to use. And I hope you like to watch this very quick video. And if you have any comments, any doubts, please keep in touch. Uh, I'll leave also my LinkedIn in the description and okay thank you see you next time